All right, now we're gonna go over users and permissions. The first thing I wanna do is show you the user, uh, the user file where all the user information is. So you go to sudo, you wanna vim it, it's a, it's a text file, so you wanna open it up in text file. And just go to the etc, the passwd file, okay? And you'll notice that here's a list of all the different users. I'm gonna come up here a little bit. And notice with the users, here's like the Ubuntu user. It's the, the username, then the password. It's delimited by colons. It's the user ID and the group ID. And then here's the blue information is just kind of that information that you would fill out when you add the user. What's their name? What's their office? Notice it has the three little commas. That's just the user information. That, that information is not important. But then after this colon, the next information is important. This is the directory, the home directory. So if I was going to change Ubuntu's home directory, I would hit I, and then I would change this out, making sure I keep this colon here. And I'd also make sure that it does not end with a forward slash. So it's just forward slash home, forward slash Ubuntu. So if I was going to make this a, a web directory, it would be forward slash var, forward slash www, forward slash HTML, forward slash whatever the directory I wanted it to be in. So that is the, that's as easy as it is. And then you would just simply um, do a right quit to get out. And if no change, you know, they would write and quit and changes would be made. Then if you wanted to go into that user, so if I made a user called Brian, I can go into that user and now you can see that I am logged in as Brian. Okay, so I've added the user and if I hit change directory, now his present working directory is, that's the present working directory for Brian. Okay, which has been changed in that file. Notice, I'm gonna hit the up arrow a couple times and go back to, we'll just do the sudo vim etc past wd and it's not going to work because I'm not sudo. I need to exit out of this one and I need to do it as this. If I go all the way down Notice that is hit that that add the folder for the user Brian has been changed to var and www.html Brian. Okay, I'm going to get out of that. Now let's talk about permissions. Okay, um, I'm going to look and see what files we have here. We have one file here. Okay, notice it's just a file. We can tell it's a file because this first character here is a dash. If it was a folder, okay, so if I do mkdir new folder, okay, then the first letter would be a D. That's a very important D, okay. Then we have three sets of three. So read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, and then nothing, and then execute, okay. What that is is this is the f this is the permissions. The first three explain the permission of the owner, whoever is the owner. The next three give the permissions for the group. Okay, so the next three means the group can read, write, and execute. And the last three is the other users. Anybody else could be a system user, could be a, we'll just call it everybody else. Okay. That's the one we have to watch out for the most, okay? So if I wanted to say on this new folder that I only want group or group and user to be able to read, write, execute, I would chmod 770 new folder, okay? Now if I ls-l again, notice that it changed and it removed the, the read and the execute from new folder okay so everybody else can't do anything now let's look at this command chmod seems you know modify the permissions this number is a binary number seven being the first three 
think about these three if they were bits. The one spot, the two spot, and the four spot. If the one is turned on, the two is turned on, and the four is turned on, add those up and that's seven. Same thing with these. Four, two, and one, add those up, that's seven. Here, if we were gonna, if we wanted to CH mod this, this is the four spot and the one spot with the two spot turned off, then it would be seven, seven, five. So let's do that. Let's change it to seven, seven, five and run it. And we'll ls dash L and notice that it went back to R and X for that folder. Okay, so that's the permissions. Read, write, and execute read write execute read write execute for the owner the group and then everybody else okay all right so that's essentially everything in a nutshell of that you would need to know for users and permissions obviously we'll want to practice this a lot of times but Oh, I guess we can talk about the how to change the owner. So if I wanted to, I could ch own, okay? And I can say Brian, that's the user, and I could say new folder. And it says changing ownership operation not permitted. So let's use sudo to do that. ch own Brian new folder. And now if we ls dash l, Notice that now Brian is the owner of new folder. If I wanted to change the group, I would do it ch grp. So our change group. Brian is now the group of that new folder also. Okay. So if I want to change those back, I would just say Ubuntu and change it back again. To the owner of Ubuntu. Okay, ls dash l, and notice that it was Brian and Brian, now it's back to Ubuntu and Ubuntu. So those two commands are there. So the commands we've we've gone through today is ch mod, ch own to change the owner, and ch group to change the group. Those are the three commands you need to know to change um, for users and permissions. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna keep adding more more cool little videos out to the web. Make sure you uh, subscribe so that you'll know exactly when they come. And then when the class is done, you can just unsubscribe.